Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Maxel Kumanov. Uh, I'm a PhD student uh, under supervision of Professor Robert Hunter at King Abdullah University of Science and Technology in Saudi Arabia. And uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the organizers for their nice invitation and uh, for making this talk possible, even uh, with our delayed flight. And um, today, uh, I would like to present our latest project on protein function prediction that we have recently published in bioinformatics called DeepGo Plus, uh, Improving Protein Functions Prediction from Sequence. So uh, here we predict protein functions just using, uh, only using protein sequences. And uh, to do that, we use deep learning, uh, deep convolutional neural networks uh, to train our model on only uh, protein sequences with experimental annotations that are available. And uh, we learn uh, convolutional filters of different sizes, starting like from 8 to 128, that uh, recognize uh, some kind of patterns that are predictive for uh, protein functions. And we then combine all these features in a long vector, and we simply use one layer, dense, dense layer, to predict protein functions. By protein functions, here I mean uh, gene ontology classes. Then uh, we also use sequence similarity to also predict uh, protein functions because uh, not uh, all sequences uh, have uh, like sufficient uh, amount of annotations to train a model, to train a deep learning model, so we need to also add sequence similarity model. So we use uh, diamond blast to find the most similar sequences, and then we combine those uh, the functions of the similar sequences, and we assign it to a query protein. And then we combine this uh, sequence similarity model and the deep learning model, and we generate a one, one score using like weight sum model. So we evaluated our uh, model on the latest. Uh, <coughs> protein function prediction challenge. It's called CAFA, and uh, it, it's usually about like 40, 50 uh, different kind of methods from all over the world. And they uh, recently published their uh, preprint in uh, BioArchive, and we evaluated our uh, results uh, with the top 10 methods. And uh, DeepGo Plus like, performed in top two in all of the uh, three sub-ontologies in the world. Go, go on to it. And uh, one thing to note that uh, DeepGo Plus, unlike the other methods, it uses only the sequence so that we can, uh, it, that means that we can uh, predict functions for almost all, all the proteins that have sequences, so we do not rely on any other information. And we can do it very fast uh, because we use GPUs uh, for, in our model and yeah, we can predict. 50 proteins per second. We also uh, have web interface and REST API to uh, do the annotation, so people can submit their protein sequences and then get the annotations. So, but right now it's only like query and response. And here uh, in this bio hackathon, uh, we would like to uh, predict. <laughs> use DeepCo Plus to predict uh, protein functions for all available sequences, uh, mainly in Uniprot database. So Uniprot has uh, like more than 167 million protein sequences. And we would like to uh, do the prediction for all of it and then make this data available as an RD RDF data set, Sparkle endpoint, and so that people can uh, query it. And we also would like to add some searching filtering in our web server. And uh, last year uh, at this Bayer Hackathon, I presented back to Sparkle. Oops. Which uh, allows uh, to do, uh, to use Sparkle, to, to use uh, vector space operations in Sparkle queries, so I would like to also add this to our uh, web server so that the features that are generated with our neural network model can also be used by others and then uh, called 
so sparkle. That's it. Thank you very much. <laughs>